guys, we are doing a Q&A video. Aren't you pumped? Good, you should be. I am pulling questions from Ask FM and from Patreon. So if you want to get in on any of those places, a link down below. And let's just jump into it. I'm logging on. I added them all to a word spreadsheet, so we're just gonna fire through this shit. I will also have my uh, Q&A playlist linked down below if you want to see over a hundred of these. I have done so many Q&As. <laughs> So many. So first question is, how girls would be accepting to talking to a new guy who saw them at the bar or an outing or something without feeling like they're just after one thing? For me, whenever I'm at a bar, if some guy comes up to me and immediately drops a line, I'm like, I'm not fucking you. <laughs> like, it's not gonna happen. But if they come up and they just want to have a conversation, my mind isn't immediately like, he wants to bang me forever, even though that may be his intention. But if you just have like a normal conversation, like you would with another another normal human being who like taking the vagina out of the equation I feel fine about it you know if you come up and you're like hey how's your night going what are you drinking would you mind if I talk to you for a bit that doesn't bug me I mean it might definitely give off some vibes to some people but for me my head's not like up my own ass so much that I think everyone who wants to talk to me wants to immediately bang me forever and also how should the guy take it through the next step like wanting to go on a date um, if a guy met up with me at a bar or, you know, somewhere kind of like the same environment and he was having a good conversation with me and we were vibing, I think it's very important that you notice like you're both equally interested, you're both adding to the conversation because if you're just sitting there and you're like, so how are you? And she's like, I'm fine. And you're like, how's your drink? And she's like, it's fine. Then obviously she's not interested. But if you guys are vibing and you know what a vibing conversation is like, then just be like, hey, I would love to grab your number and take you out for coffee or for lunch or for dinner sometime. And then she either gives you her number and says yes or she doesn't. Would you be willing to date someone who has a kid? Um, yes, yes, but. I think it's important, especially in those kinds of relationships, to take it really slow. I wouldn't want to be pushed into being introduced to the kid immediately because for me, especially when there's a child in the in the equation, I want to make sure that I'm very serious about the relationship before bringing a kid into it and I'm sure whoever I would be dating would feel the same way. I wouldn't be okay with like going on a first date and, hey, your kid's there because, I mean, I, it's a first date. Like, you know what I mean? I want to make sure that I'm in it before we talk about, you know, introducing me to the kid. And then obviously it's not like I'm coming in as a parent. I'm just like the girlfriend, you know? So I think that relationship would be, have to be taken kind of more slowly. Um, and it would be taken more seriously. But if I click with a person, of course, that would be fine. How did you tell your mom you lost your virginity? Did you casually just say it? The morning after... I came inside the house, she was, I actually remember this very vividly, she was in her office, I sat down and I was like, it happened, and she was like, sex, and I was like, yeah. Which fictional character from any TV show could you see yourself marrying? Just because I finished marathoning through Supernatural, I want to say Sam, but let's be honest, he's not the most, like, stable individual, so, uh, not Xander from Buffy because he ran off on Anya on their wedding day, which is not a very attractive quality. This is us. This is us. Milo. Milo from This Is Us. <laughs> the dad. Oh my god. Him. Of course. I loved him in Gilmore Girls. He was perfect as Jess. I would marry him as Jess or as the dude from This Is Us. I don't care. I don't care. He's just perfect. Every guy he plays is such a good guy. I grew up in a religious house, but I'm not religious myself. I've told my mom that when I have kids, I won't first force any kind of religion on them and let them learn about it on their own. And she's upset with me. And now I feel like there's a rift between us. How can I get over this? You can sit there and explain to her like, listen, this isn't my belief system. I want my kids, if they find religion, absolutely, I will support them, but I want them to have the option to look around and see what's out there. And I, I think maybe even just pushing in that, like, if they find this religion, I will support it thing, it might kind of bring her a little bit of comfort. But I think it's just the whole, I'm not forcing religion on them, I'm not going to make them go to church thing that kind of is like spinning her head out of control. So just let her know if they find religion, great, I'll support that, but I'm not going to, you know, make them go to church starting at a young age. You know, I'm gonna let them explore it on their own. And the last question, I'm worried that I'll be really bad at blowjobs. Help. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do in this situation, okay? This is his penis, all right? It doesn't matter what position you're in. He could be lying down, you could be kneeling, doesn't matter. You're going to grab it. And then you're going to look up at him through your eyelashes. You're not gonna go like this and talk to him. You're just gonna kind of glance up like this, right? And you're just gonna say, 
I'm kind of new at this, so tell me what you like, and then go at it. Because that gives him the opportunity to say, okay, yeah, faster, slower, because you're open to, you know, a little bit of direction. But that is it, guys. If you want to see more Q&As, make sure to leave me some questions on AskFM or on Snapchat. Thumbs up this video if you like it. We are almost at 70,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. Also, if you have missed my last dirty Q&A, I uploaded one last week, so check it out. Link down below. And that's it. I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.